Good morning, everyone. This is Spook327, and we are back for Terraria. So, I, uh, I kind of kept hands off this week. I mean, my next goal right now is to get a bunch of those uh, crystal shards for the purpose of, well, just a few, a few things I want to build. The big one is a phase saber. Um, oh, so what I'm doing is I'm drilling a tunnel, uh, to the hollow, and let's see, we're, we're almost 800 feet down, so there should be shards at this depth. Oops, and what I'm going to do, you know what? Oh, dang it. One day, I'm going to learn. Wait a minute. That, go, that one goes there. And that one goes there. And that sounds like a merman. Yep. Oh, it's a nice elemental. Well, you're still a piece of garbage. You're dead. And you're dead. Okay. There's Merman. I thought I'd never get to see one. So this big tunnel here is going to become a train tunnel. Um, when I actually have a train to put in it. Or tracks. I, ha I have the train. Which is literally just a cart. So this is really the only uh, off-screen stuff I've done. See, this weapon just does not do enough damage now. I mean, I keep it because it auto-swings, and it auto-swings quickly, but... Oh, hey, it's this guy. What is that thing? Oh, a counterweight. Well... <laughs> I don't... You know, I just don't use yo-yos. Maybe I should. Maybe that's been the thing I've been getting wrong all of this time. Boing. Okay, so yeah, we got this far anyway. The problem with finding chests along the way is you do have to actually loot them. And when it's... Oops. When they're... Uh, pre-hard mode chests. It's not very interesting. I gotta say, though, I really like the random generation they use for houses, because some of the details they'll get in, like putting those support beams and other such structures in place. I'd love to see the code that went into this. Oh, man. So... Terry Kavanaugh, the guy who is responsible for VVVVVV, which is an excellent indie game. Um, you know, it looks like it was made on a Commodore 64, and that is intentional. And it's kind of cool. I like the aesthetic, but it's... It's a very simple platformer in that you don't jump or anything. You only have three buttons. Move left, move right, and invert gravity. And uh, it is... It's a very good challenge. It's a personal favorite game of mine. Um, but... The, the interesting news here... I mean, this came out a while ago. But the, the interesting news is that Kavanaugh open-sourced the game. I don't think he's made the, the game data-free, because why... Why would you do that? Because <laughs> um, you can probably still make a few bucks off it, so... But man, people have just been all over what he's released. Uh, one more. So he releases this game as open source. It's all up on GitHub now, and it's really cool that he did that. Um, but there are so many armchair experts coming out of the woods, the woodwork, saying, oh man, look at this horrible stuff he did. I'm like, you may not even be wrong, but uh, he actually created and released a thing in full. Can, can, 
can these armchair guys actually say that? Oh, man. Well, I guess it's F water o'clock. Okay, I hope I can drain this mess, because otherwise I've made a huge mistake. Oh my god, that's huge. What, what have I done? I think I hit an underground ocean here. Okay, it seems to be petering out. Maybe I didn't completely screw this up. But I tried to completely screw it up, and that's what counts. Okay, at this point I'm not even sure where all the water's coming from. Okay, good. Well, disaster averted. Kinda. Alright. Whoops. So yeah, this eventual train tunnel should be the way to uh, get to the Hallow and start regularly mining crystals. Now apparently they put a limit on how many can spawn in a given screen. Um, so the old style of uh, crystal farms does not work from the sound of it. Which is mildly disappointing, but I'll cope. I just need 37 of them for my uh, phase saber. Cause, I mean, I'm not using any hard mode, hard mode uh, weapons right now. I don't even have the illegal gun parts to make, or uh, the soul of might to make a uh, mega shark. Yeah, that was dumb. That's better. I don't know how fancy I'm going to get with this. The last time I built one of these, I went all out and I added, uh, you know, nice hanging lights and proper walls and everything. I mean, it, it does wind up being a pretty big time and resource investment, but what the hell else was I doing with all these ice bricks? Okay, whatever that is, I think it's got to go. Oh yeah, Crimtain. Let's not leave that sitting around. That stuff sucks anyway. I haven't even made Knight's Edge. That's, man, I should have done that by now. Even though I, I'm definitely not playing this blind, I mean, I've put many hours into Terraria in the past. For some reason, I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to look stuff up. I'm just going to play it. Oops.
Okay, I'm starting to see some pink ice. That should be the sign that we're, we're looking for. And there's an illuminant bat. There's another one. Bacon? Hmm. I guess it's just delicious and has no other powers. That's fair. Okay, I'm starting to see shards. There's one way over yonder. Oh no, is this some, is this water? Oh, it's not. Okay, let's start hunting. Or, wow. You know, I think I left all my shine potions back up top. So I'm going to have to go get those before I... Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a shard. Sneaky. Oh, and some yellow, uh... Topaz? Topaz. <clears throat> the Topaz is fine, too. Yeah, okay. We're just at the depth we need to be. Just barely. But I think that uh, that route is going to do the trick. Yep, already coming into more shards. How many do I have so far? Five? Uh, that's a long way from 37, but I'll get there. a couple more. We're at nine. Yeah. Apparently I picked up an archery potion at some point. I normally wouldn't gather pre-hard mode gear. Some... Oh! Frickin'... Oh, Medusas. Oh, I didn't even... This is just like last night in Symphony of the Night. Just minding my own business and bam, there's Medusa. And I'm constantly getting stoned. How rude. See, what's baffling is how the heck did I miss this section last week? How was this a struggle? Oh, good, an enchanted sword. Oh, 
Well, they're not dead. Okay. 20 shards to go. Looking attainable. Sniff out of you, Mr. Bat. See, if you stay in the dark, it's really easy to spot them. Come on, there you go. Thirteen left. Oh. Let's see responsible things with explosives. Oh. And there's the loud idiots in the hall. Oh, there's a couple more. Progress is happening. There's three more. There might be a few over to the right, too. Oh, four more. Great. There we go. Okay, down a little bit. Let's use the uh, the demon book here. Oh, it doesn't go through walls. There we go. If you can just get the right angle, it kind of works. Come on. Almost there. Oh, jeez. It's that mimic again. He, uh, he certainly got the distance there. He just run down here. Does he still need a beating? Close. I don't know what that is. And I'm actually pretty happy with this suit. Because it's absolutely ridiculous. And 
and uh, thanks for coming in, 00091J. Whoops, I think I'm one shard. Oh, dang it. I gotta go back and grab literally one more crystal shard. Doesn't that figure? Is there anything that went here? No. Oh, hey, shine potions. Don't think I forgot about you. Okay, oops, let's put this other chest in there. Because God knows I somehow don't have enough. That's all right, I'll, I'll get there in time. I'd rather, uh, rather progress naturally than, uh, pick up other people's stuff. Okay, now, oh wait, 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 I still have some slush. Let's pump it into the gotcha machine. Oh, that's not the right chest. You'd think I'd blade this before. Okay, now... Our moon glows in bloom. I guess I gotta stop and harvest that. Uh, it's... Oh, it just turned to night. Also, there's something awfully soothing about harvesting flowers with a power drill. That is absolutely the best way to do it. It's like performing open heart surgery with a chainsaw. Okay, I'm gonna head back down and get that one more crystal. And then I'm gonna look at uh, making a rail. Uh, all the way out there. It's just gonna take a bunch of iron, which I should have plenty of by now. And, oh, here we go. Okay, I have a Fred request from a meds gaming place. And if you're in the channel, um, hi. I'll, I'll handle that later. There it is. That one last shard. Get a little free money from Mr. The Guy. And... Oh. Maybe I had plenty. Okay, so let's get some meteors. Or some uh, meteorite bars. Yep. And I need gems. We'll take rubies. And there we go. Okay, it's phase blade and then upgrades to phase saber. That's how it worked. This one is nasty. And I believe these auto swing, which makes them, which is what made them useful in the first place. Oh, 
Okay, now let's talk to the goblin about reforging until it is legendary. Okay, nasty. Annoying. Keen. Legendary. Excellent. Okay. So now... Wah. Suppose it wouldn't hurt to uh, chug a uh, shine potion at night. Okay, so I finally have a little bit of hard mode equipment. This will do much better than my old one for uh, dealing with whoop, dealing with the boss when I wind up fighting him again. I think last time around I was trying to beat the destroyer. And that did not go well for me at all. I have the best armor I can make. Yeah, adamantite. At least until I successfully bag a few bo uh, hard mode robot bosses. Oh, a harpy. 